Hello everyone. Welcome back to Fiction Fridays. Today our theme is villainous violinists. Because it's almost Halloween, I thought we should talk about some of the less than angelic characters uh, that the violinists have portrayed uh, on occasion. One of the ones that comes to mind is Niccolo Paganini. He was a 19th century virtuoso, basically a rock star of his day, but he allegedly sold his soul to the devil in order to play like the genius that he was. And there's an entire movie devoted to his life. He was quite the womanizer and yes, definitely one of the most uh, challenging composers for performers to play. He had some kind of a disease that made his fingers longer than normal, and he was able to reach certain difficult uh, passages that are hard for most people. However, the greats of today are able to play the famous Paganini Caprices, which do make an appearance again in my novel, A Change in Tune. Now, uh, Paganini is not the only musician to have, quote unquote, made a deal with the devil. Even in more contemporary and uh, literature and even uh, different styles, the Charlie Daniels Band, Devil Went Down to Georgia. The devil wants to make a bet with Johnny the Fiddle Player and thinks that he can beat him um, on a violin, kind of dueling pianos, dueling violin standoff. And Johnny admits that this probably isn't a good idea, but he's going to take the devil up on that dare. And in the end, fortunately, Johnny does win out over the devil and he is able to keep his soul, but he does say that the devil can come back and challenge him any other time he wants to, because he's the best one at the instrument. Now, in my personal uh, story, our villainous violinist is Franklin Curtis, and he is kind of the Draco Malfoy, I guess, if you will, of my of my story. And it's kind of funny, my editor, my developmental editor, when she was reading it, she goes, I know I'm supposed to hate him, but you gave him the best lines. And isn't that true? Sometimes those villains just steal the limelight on occasion because they, they bring out um, different aspects of our personalities. Uh, poor uh, Franklin, he's the Enneagram 8 character, so kind of that challenger personality. And yeah, he really gives Victoria a run for her money. And I think that it's kind of fun to see that even though we frequently are portrayed very angelic in, in, in violin, you can see a bit of the edgy side as well in some of the, the music and literature. In terms of Franklin, I have this fabulous design here made by my uh, artist. And it says, don't pull my strings. <laughs> I thought the tagline was pretty good. I came up with the taglines, but she did the uh, illustrations. And it just really kind of gives the impression of, yeah, the the uh, somewhat more grouchy musician or maybe a teacher who's heard one too many out-of-tune notes. So this design actually is my featured design of the month. You can get iPhone cases or mugs, t-shirts, playing cards, a lot of different things with this design on it. And again, every purchase helps fund the costs of book publication because I would like to start writing book two of The Strings of Sisterhood. So consider donating and let me know in the comments if you can think of other famous uh, villainous violinists and come back next week for more Halloween music. I always love talking about some of my favorite haunted, uh, haunted concert ideas. So thanks and I'll see you next time.